Sorry about that, babe. All right, guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 1 on the NES. This is part 11. Uh, in the last part, we went through was a Titan's Tunnel, uh, where we found the Titan who is immo bleh, immovable and needs the ruby. So then we traversed through the first three floors of the Earth Cave and took out the vampire who proved to be quite a pushover. Uh, he died in two hits. And I would actually wager that I think he probably would have died with just one of my fire spells, fire three. Uh, we obtained the ruby, right? Yep, treasure box is empty. Uh, so we have to go back to give the ruby to the titan, but we are going to push forward just a little bit. And then we do have to uh, get out of here, which is going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, because there are lots of cruddy enemies up in here that could poison you, and I only have five pures left. But, first we're gonna push forward. We're gonna be doing a lot of running, probably. <clears throat> oh, God. I wanna fight these guys. Am I good? I am good. Alright, cool. Whenever I see cha-ching cha-ching, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. And I think I mentioned in my last part, but I am 100% going to be grinding uh, for some gold and for some experience. Whether or not it's going to be on camera or off camera, I still don't know the answer to that. But either way, you'll either see it sped up, or I'll explain what happened if I leveled up or whatever. And like I said, I never, I never buy anything or do anything like major without it being recorded. Because I don't want like you know what I mean. Like, because some people might grind in their playthroughs, right? and not show it, and then they fail to mention, oh yeah, like I got all these high level magic spells and I bought all this armor and this crazy sword or something, and you're sitting there like, god damn, this dude's like, stacked out of nowhere. Nah, none of that with me. <clears throat> this fight actually took a little bit longer than I thought. I wasn't paying attention to the fire, it probably didn't hurt them as much as I originally had hoped. Lots of gold, though. So you saw that graphical glitch there. There is a stone plate on the floor. You sense something evil. Mm, well, we cannot move that at the moment. So we have to get the fook out of here. We have to go all the way back to those stairs. And unfortunately, I did not buy the magic spell that transports you to the previous uh, floor that you were on. Now I can. If I want to, anyway. Shouldn't be too bad, especially the first floor, but it just depends what enemies we're running into. And yes, if stuff like this happens, where there's three potential enemies that could poison me... Uh-huh. Not good. Let me run. Thank you. I swear, half, half the beginning of the game is, uh, poison management and reswapping your party members, man. Like I said before, like, I get what they were trying to do, but, like, I don't know. It doesn't matter that much, just leave them in the same spot, please. You make a lot of, uh, poor quality of life issues for the players by doing what you're doing. I'll fight these guys. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta remember, I gotta go down. I was about to go up into the right for no reason. Hmm. You know, on my way out, I might want to loot that stuff that I passed up on, actually. I did think it over, because if there's enemies in front of it, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, I guess, but... Hey, Ray's leveled up. Nice. I guess I could think it over. I'll be passing by... Mostly everything, yeah. Eh, let's go for it, I guess. Nice. Well, I'll be using that tent as soon as I get out, so... Ooh! I've yet to run into the cockatrice. Ah, uh, ain't no thing. 
I shouldn't even have uh, used a spell. Yeah, the last treasure, I believe, is actually just a heal potion. I am actually probably gonna skip that. Oh wait, no, 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 hold up. Yeah, I actually passed the heal potion. The heal potion was up above, which is totally fine. I do not need to backtrack for a freaking heal. I'm gonna run from this one. I don't think it's really worth it. <clears throat> run, 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 run. I do want to go back to town for many reasons. One being the inn, two being all the gold and or uh, yeah, all the gold that I got so I can buy some more magic. I think I'm gonna do that before pushing through because there are enemies in the Titan's Tunnel. And I did uh, get a couple things that I need to sell as well. Now that I'm remembering that. So anyway, we gotta go all the way up and to the left. But hopefully we don't get lost. There's a couple dead ends. And I can't remember exactly where to go off the top of my head. I do have the maps, like I said. I think straight up is a dead end, actually. Run! This little simple jingle, man. At first, I remember when I first heard it, like, in the PS1 version, I was like, eh, not bad. But, uh, it's actually pretty catchy. I don't know why I'm doing this. Should I even bother? We need you to pull your weight here, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, as much money as we did get, guys, it's gonna drain really fast with those expensive-ass spells. That was definitely a worthwhile fight. Alright, we are back to floor one, which is a straight shot up into the left, basically. And then we're outside and we can pop our tent. Make sure we don't lose any precious uh, progress that we made. And I gotta remember that there's the Hall of Giants out there. <clears throat> okay. Tent is popped. And now, let's go back to the town of Melmond before heading back to the Titan's Tunnel. So we pretty much just have to go to the northeast. It's a bit of a trek. Probably gonna end up running into about, I don't even know, like five random battles, I would guess. Not off to a good start when the first step that you take out is a friggin' fight, man. Already two fights, and I haven't even left, essentially, my uh, horizontal plane that I was walking in. Alright. We're actually a lot closer than I thought. Because I remember that... Ooh, a tiger. How ferocious are you, buddy? Let's see. I like that sprite, man. That's some cool shit. Ah, oh, not ferocious at all. Tisk. Whatever. I guess it was a worthwhile encounter, right? Alright, cool. We're already back in Melman. Nice. Alright. I think I'm gonna do uh, what I said I was gonna do. I'll grab a couple of healing items right now, but I'll probably pop back in and uh, do the majority of it offline. Alright. Who has what here? Somebody got... I thought we got a shield, right? Yeah, there we go. 
I gotta think it over if I need the Coral Sword or not. I think it might be a good idea for me to equip the Coral Sword when I'm when I'm on the seas. I would guess. Um, where is the freaking item shop, man? Am I missing it somewhere? There's the magic. There's the inn. I guess it must be to the left. <clears throat> is there no item shop here? Am I blind? Hold up. Armory, the inn, the weapon shop. Oh, is there really no item shop here? Weaponry, white magic, black magic, there's the inn. Shit, man. Okay, well. Huh. I guess I didn't realize that. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, let's check our spells. Magic. Okay, so we got a bunch of slots in four and five. And a couple for five there. I think these are level five, right? Yeah, level five. Okay, so I got the Hilaga 2 or whatever the hell it's called. I feel like I have to get Cure 3, right? And then the real tough choice comes down to Harm 3 or Life. And hear me out. I'm leaning towards harm three. And basically my reasoning for that is I am pretty sure that we still encounter like lots of undead as we go along. But, man, this is a tough one. And people that are watching this that, you know, might be huge Final Fantasy fans might know exactly what to do here, but I'm just gonna make a whim choice. I'm not gonna consult anything. I, I mean, like, what did uh, Nintendo Power tells me to, but it's not the be-all, end-all. Nintendo Power tells me to not buy Harm 3. So, you know, I'm gonna buy Life. Because I feel like if I'm deep in a dungeon and I'm doing okay, but somebody just randomly gets ganged up on, I want to be able to heal them. Okay. So let's double check that raise now. Whoops. All right, cool. And anything worthwhile for Jimothy? Oh yeah, I wanted to get warp. Absolutely. Oh. What? Wait, what? Huh? I'm confused. Why wouldn't it let me buy it? Jim? Warp? Sorry you can't learn that? I'm... really confused. Oh, can they literally not warp? Oh, is that... Hold up. Warp. Oh, warp can only... Oh, warp can only be learned by the Black Wizard, which is the promoted version of the Black Mage. Huh. Interesting. Well, I have to note that in my pea brain to come back to Melmond whenever we get the um, the promotion, man, because your boy's gonna need some of that. All right. <sighs> Resting up at the inn and then on to the Titan's Tunnel. Only about 14 minutes in, so we'll see how long the uh, Titan's Tunnel takes. If it takes a little bit shorter than I thought, then you know what? I might show a little bit of my grind and just kind of bullshit. But we'll see. First, we gotta go to the Titan's Tunnel, so. <clears throat> I f can't remember, but I don't think you can get promoted until later in the game, and I feel like it's like Behemoth or something, like one of the big summit uh, summons. I'm pretty sure hands down uh, the ability. To get the promotion. 
But that remains to be seen. It's been a minute since I played. And I am totally one of those dudes where, like, I'll play a game, right? And I'll fucking forget about it. <laughs> like, unless I'm playing it all the time. Which is actually, like, good for replays of games. Unless you're trying to get, like, super good, like, for a speedrun or a challenge run. But if you play a game and you really enjoyed it, at least in my brain, and I go back to it a few years later, I'll forget a lot of it. Fights, fights, fights. No thanks. Thank you. Alright buddy, get out of the way. I got your ruby. Leave me alone. If you want pass, give me the ruby. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Mmm, tastes so sweet. <laughs> Rubies are my favorite. You sick fuck. You sick bastard. Alright, so... The top brings us to Sarda's cave, which would be, I'm assuming, outside. And then we got some loot! Up in here! <clears throat> uh, what's gonna be guarding this shit, though, is the question. Ooh, a, a great axe! 620 gold. 450 gold. Silver helmet. So nothing was guarding it, which is always good. Uh, silver helmet, silver helmet. I have to imagine that the silver helmet is better than the iron helmet. I'm going to just do the old school style here. 37, 32. I don't feel like digging out my uh, thing right now. Thirty-eight, thirty-four. yep. Okay, cool, so that's an upgrade. And the great axe, though. I feel like that probably Bits would be the only person that could use that. And like I said, I'm just gonna not look at my uh, chart because I don't feel like grabbing it. Let's check the status of Bits. He is at 3961. 3960. Okay, so he can use that. 3961. 3851. Okay, so that is definitely a downgrade. Can Ryu use the axe? I'm gonna say no, because thieves... Yeah, okay. So that's something that we will be selling. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's just... You never know. Weirder shit has happened. Pretty sure they can only use stabs and hammers and shit, but... Okay. No worries there. And let's head to Sarda's. Who should give us some kind of contraption to open up that plate in the Earth Cave. So we can go slap the Lich and uh, reverse the rot. Alrighty. So Sarda's Cave is just down to the south. Right there. <clears throat> Ooh, ogres and hyenas, huh? Well, let's try ice too. Damn, I remember the days where I wasn't able to one-shot ogres. <clears throat> Definitely, I have to load the fuck up on consumables. Not now, but later. Sardis Cave appears to be pretty, uh... Pretty short, I'm assuming. Hmm... Are you guys susceptible to harm? Because if you are, I'm just gonna cast it. Oops. Hopefully they are, otherwise I'm just gonna run. Cut my losses. They are susceptible to harm, cool. Ba, ba, ba. Sardis Cave. Oh, yes, 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 okay. Pretty short, pretty short area. Ah, uh, my song. Everybody know. 
I don't think there's anything in any of these, but... One last one. Yep, okay. Didn't think so, but wanted to make sure. I like the, uh, the piss yellow color scheme we got going on here. Good stuff. Nothing there. What up, Sarda? Use this rod behind the vampire's room, hiding deep inside. You will find the cause of the Earth's rot. It's the Lich. Alright, cool. So now we can advance further into the Earth Cave. But... Before we do that... I do think it's probably wise... Uh, to do a little bit of grinding, people. I do. I do. Certainly not here, but... <clears throat> All right, so is th the logic behind these shadows constantly sneaking up on me? Is it because they're like ghosts? I guess I guess that sort of makes sense when you really think about it. It's still annoying. Ugh. The dread. Yeah, I figure I'll do a couple of... A couple of grinds in there and... Off camera. Probably restock up on all my consumables. And then we'll head back into the uh, Earth Cave to finish off... The source of the rot. And restore this once great land. Ooh. Double Sabertooth Tigers. Man, I fucking love old RPGs, dude. I, I really do. I gotta admit, though, sometimes it's tough. Sometimes, you know, you really want to just fully immerse yourself into it. You know, which would basically be an offline playthrough, right? I could just imagine myself sitting on the couch upstairs with my all my maps and my guides just strewn about on my table. Little notebook. But, um... Nah, it's still fun doing a YouTube for sure. I streamed some RPGs here and there, and it's it's not bad. The one thing that streaming RPGs is definitely really good for is the grind, if you choose to do it on stream, because you have people to talk to, it makes the time go quicker. But... You definitely lose your sense of immersion when you're streaming. I mean, if your stream's active, of course, if, like, nobody's in there, obviously, but... I don't know. Just some thoughts. Food for thought. I'd say the tier list for playing RPGs, one would be, you know, in its natural state, two would be something for YouTube or offline, and then three would be streaming it. But I tell you what, man, if I could somehow make a living wage off of fucking streaming or YouTube, that would be so cool. I'd play RPGs all day, baby. That'd be so cool, because then I'd have like eight to ten hours a day just to play through RPGs. I'd be able to like bust right through my backlog, but that is a, uh... Can't think of the word. We'll just say it's not gonna happen. It is a far-fetched stretch. All right, let's go grind this uh, Hall of the Giants to the left here. Hopefully this is accurate because earlier, this game, or the fucking Nintendo Power guy told me to grind somewhere and I'm telling you it was probably not the best spot to grind for ogres because there's too many poison enemies. Oh! Giants! I was thinking of the ogres. Yeah, these dudes. These dudes were at the, uh... The Peninsula of Power, man. I remember these dudes, absolutely. Yeah, this will be some good grinding. Especially if they miss me. What do they got here? They got 240 HP, so it's actually not too bad, even if we run out of spells. And I should not be concerned with using my consumables because I'm so close to the exit and I'm gonna refill them. I'd say for sure one of the colors that pops in this game is green. I feel like the enemies and stuff that are green, they really like stand out. Whether or not it's because they look like the Incredible Hulk or the Jolly Green Giant, that is up for debate, but... Oh, give me that all day, please. Please. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 
Ooh, iguanas, though. Uh, do you guys... You hurt me. I don't know what you do. Okay, not too bad. Clearly they have probably about 90 health. Ah, uh, I thought I was going to be able to sneak a kill in there. That sucks. Oh well. Damn, Ryu. Been lifting weights. take it. I mean, I guess, you know what, we'll top off with the regular magics, right? Because we're going to end up resting at the inn. Alright, let's do, let's do like two more, I guess, right? That seems fair. <clears throat> we really don't have much to buy right now because uh, that warp spell cannot be used in my current form for Jimmy, so... <clears throat> so really, yeah, the, the main thing that I want to do is stock up on consumables before we go back into the Earth Cave. Which, uh, Corneria could supply that for me, as well as a cheap place to rest, so... That's gonna be the game plan. Excuse me. Alright, one more. Is it literally every step in here? Oh, uh, you know what? I don't want to do one more of this. Like, come on now. It's only one enemy. One more real fight. Please. Oh shit, yeah, it might be every single step. <laughs> I mean, in that case, I gotta be a little mindful of how far I'm trekking. Uh, let's try lightning too, I haven't tried that in forever. I feel like lightning is like crazy weak in this game for some reason. And of course I attacked with Ray's uh, the one thing that died that turn. Naturally. Oh no, I didn't. Oh my bad. Thought I did. Is he really not dead? Early. <clears throat> wow, I cannot believe that they all survived that turn, every single person. They have to be on like. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, critical low health. Ugh. Damn, I gotta heal Jimmy. Not doing too good. <clears throat> Let's do that real quick. Forgot that heals everybody. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to do potentially three more fights, because I forgot that it just does it every single step. It truly is the Hall of Giants, huh? I guess I could run, but all that gold, though. Ugh, shouldn't have went so far down, guys. Shouldn't have went so far down. 
We'll just focus on uh, attacking one the entire time. Ooh! Did that just do 156 damage, or was I reading that wrong? Oh my goodness. I guess I obviously read that wrong. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Please don't miss. I'd appreciate it. Oh my god, everybody's missing now. How is this dude not dead? It must have only did 15 damage. <laughs> it had to have that ice spell. There's no way. Yeah, okay. Alright, that should be the last square. And then we're out of here. And then we, we heading back to Corneria. To stock up. For our... Epic... Earth Cave Conclusion. Taking a look here at the, uh... Nintendo Power Guide, we got... <laughs> Lots of good loot coming up, man. Money-wise, whoo! The money is real down there. Oh, there it is. It was on the last page of the Nintendo Power Guide for the, uh... Earth Cave. The Coral Sword is particularly effective against water monsters, which is exactly what, what I figured, so... So yeah, that would be good because I f obviously think one of the uh, elemental people is water, if I remember correctly. It could be ice. Actually, you know what? It is ice, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is ice. But, I mean, if I'm going to be on the, uh, the ocean for a while, then for sure I would switch over to that. Alright, we have to go back to the dock. Actually... You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna use the power of seamless video editing, because we are over a half hour now. Just for the sake of doing it, I'm gonna pop a tent. And we're gonna end it there. And just to fill you in, in real life, I'm actually gonna head back to Corneria. I'm gonna run from pretty much every battle. Um, and I'm gonna load up on consumables, and I will uh, also explain that at the beginning of the next part. But. The next part, we'll be finishing off the Earth Cave and the Lich to stop the rot. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the playthrough so far. Uh, we're definitely in a good spot level in equipment and magic-wise, so things are rolling along pretty well. Uh, but beyond that, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I do my best to reply to all comments on all my videos. Uh, and until next time, guys, take it easy.